Have you heard the news? You know, the news. Of course you bloody have. It's everywhere. How could you not? Our society thrives off of news, of being connected. But you know what else we thrive off? Bashing the people who give it to us. Seriously out of breath from running and sitting on a chair. G'day guys, Willie here, and today I'm going to talk about something that I actually have a little bit of experience regarding. Journalists. I'm not just doing this because I don't need to do quite as much research as I did for the last one. Oh boy, the amount of brain power that went into understanding basic economics almost killed me. No, well, okay, yes, that is part of the reason. But I'm also doing this because it needs to be said. Let's get into it. So, what do you know about journalism? Well, if you're unaware, I trained to be a radio journalist for about nine months before I decided it wasn't something I could manage. In that time, I picked up a number of skills, a lot of which have contributed to the way that I run this channel right now. I met bright young students, as well as some seasoned older students. I also met my fair share of grizzled, world-weary editors and reporters. Though I never actually made it into the industry, I learned a lot about what it takes to run a newsroom and what it takes to be a journalist in this day and age. Suffice to say, I don't have what it takes. What do you mean, in this day and age? Surely, writing news articles is the same as it's always been. Well, thank you for that question character I have created to ask questions that almost no one would ask. But no, it's not the same, you cretin. We live in the information age. People can access information faster than ever, and journalism has had to evolve to try to keep up. The internet plays a huge role in how we get news, and that is reflected in, in the water. <laughs> Good joke. And that's reflected in the massive number of news outlets that have had to go online. Gone are the days of struggling with mountains of pages. Now it's as easy as one, two, three. I don't know what's more depressing, the decline of physical newspapers or the news in the news. In any case, journalists now have to be faster than ever. They need to keep an eye on Facebook, Twitter, even YouTube and LiveLeak to actually report news faster than we hear about it organically. So no, reporting the news is not the same. It's more frenetic than ever. Gee, sounds like a tough time, but still it's their job, so why are they complaining? Well, yes, I'll concede that one way or another journalists are required to bring us news. They're paid to do it. But it's not like their job has finished evolving. I don't think a reporter can go into work these days without hearing about some new gadget or technique that sets the bar for reporting just a little bit higher every time. Not to mention the gargantuan influence of the internet means that a lot of mediums for news reporting are slowly dying out. Radio in particular is a lot less glamorous or sought after than it used to be, thanks largely to the introduction of web-based video reporting. There will always be a need for radio and voice work, but it just remains to be seen how much of that will have to do with the news. So there's a looming sense of job uncertainty hanging over each and every journalist before they've even started putting out stories. It takes a lot of courage, or maybe foolhardiness, to pursue a career in journalism. Well sure, but they must be paid well, right? Thank you again for the question that literally no one would think to ask. No, journalists aren't paid well. In the second half of the course I took, the inevitable question of pay reared its ugly head. The guest speaker we were hearing from at the time said that a conservative estimate for a starting journalist would be in the region of 34 to 36. And then someone pipes up, an hour? Or... And the speaker just threw back her head and laughed. No, 34 to 36k a year for full-time work in an uncertain industry. Good. To help put that into perspective, according to the TeachNZ website, the starting salary for a new primary school teacher with a bachelor's degree is a touch over 46,000. When you're earning 10,000 less than a teacher, that's how you know you're paid like shit. So I say again, it takes a lot of guts to become a journalist. Job uncertainty, schmab uncertainty. We live in a time of economic frailty. Suck it up. What are the real problems journalists face? Okay, rude. But fair enough, I guess. To help answer your question, I'll just head over to New Zealand's primary source of news, stuff.co.nz. Let's just take a look at the comments here. Huh. Oh. Mmm. Jesus. There you have it. Journalists cop an unbelievable amount of crap. It's yet another way that a career in journalism is comparable to one in teaching. 
They both cop flack from people who think they know how to do it better. One thing I do really admire about stuff is the section where members of the public can submit their own stories. You do end up with some really insightful opinion pieces, but that's not the best bit. The great thing about it is the citizen journalists being exposed to the fickle nature of the stuff comments. True justice. Sir, you know, I know, we all know, that's in the job description. You have to have a thick skin to be a journalist. Yes, yep, absolutely you do. You cannot hope to have a career in journalism if you can't take a bit of criticism. Where do you draw the line for criticism, though? Pointing out factually incorrect writing? Criticism. Pointing out spelling errors? Probably more of an editor's problem for letting that slip through, but okay, we'll call it criticism. Shitting all over the journalist because the outlet they work for seems to be publishing a lot of stories that you don't like? Hmm. Okay, well... Hmm. That is where I draw the line. Let me make something abundantly clear. A single journalist is not representative of the company they work for. And vice versa. Vice versa. Most newsrooms have a certain style that employees have to adhere to. I think it's called a, a house style. So if you have a problem with the formatting or focus of an article, blame the newsroom. A journalist might have a really cool story that they've done a lot of hard work on, but if someone higher up has a problem with it, it's gone. Uh, here, publish this article about the Kardashians instead. Don't misdirect your distrust or dislike of a news outlet towards the poor reporters who work for them. I would like to say more about the mainstream media, but that is an enormous video on its own. So I'll save that for another time. But surely you must know, all journalists are rat weasels who are only in it for themselves. You know how I've been going on about questions that no one would ask in real life? This isn't one of them. In a survey conducted by The Telegraph in the UK, members of the public rated journalism as the second least trustworthy profession, only behind lawyers. Just 7% of people say that they trust journalists. What the hell? I'll admit that mainstream media has its problems, but do you really think it's the underpaid souls just doing their beat for bugger or reward who are to blame? I say again, learn to differentiate. Reporters and journalists are not the same as the media. Every journalist who goes into the industry starts off with huge dreams. To get the big scoop, to uncover drug rings and expose political scandals and make fantastic headline puns. But pretty much without exception, journalists have to start at the bottom. That means doing the community rounds, local sport, local politics, so on and so forth. And you might think that being subjected to this kind of lowbrow work would kill all the innocence and passion of a budding journalist. But you'd be wrong. All of the journalists-to-be I had the pleasure of studying with were genuinely in it because they wanted to report the news. Big or small, it doesn't matter. As a journalist, you are a vital part of the community you belong to. You are the bridge between the people and what's happening around them. Being a journalist should be seen as a noble profession. So the fact that journalists are so distrusted is crushing. So to recap a little, journalists have it tough. The definition of news is ever changing and it is crazy difficult for them to keep up. Their jobs are uncertain. Many mediums of news reporting are dying and it's becoming very difficult to hold down a job in one of those mediums. They're underpaid. They get paid less than teachers in some cases. Enough said. They get insulted half to death for doing nothing more than their job most of the time. So it's no wonder some journalists are a little cynical and dead-eyed. Ah, excuses, you've said nothing to change my mind about those slimy reporters. But shitty character I created. You are a reporter. <laughs> no. Sorry about the lack of funny in this one, guys. It was meant to be a little more light-hearted, but as I was writing it, it just became more and more serious. Got a bit real. Journalists are everywhere, I know, but even if you don't like them, all you have to do is answer their questions and they'll bugger off. I swear. If you've made it this far, thank you for watching. My eventual plan is to put these videos out on a Wednesday, but right now my work schedule is not supportive of such a plan. Anyway, if you want to see a tasty Brexit video, why don't you click here? Or if you'd like to see me quench my thirst, click here. I'll see you around, guys.